Okay. So this is how I cut my sausages. And that's it. <laughs> Very simple lobster tail. Hi everyone, my name is T and tonight I'll be making a seafood boil for you. So I always say that I'm going to show you how I make my coconut butter sauce and I have never done it. So tonight you're going to finally get to see how I do that. I have some snow crab. I have some shrimp that's sitting in uh, lime water. I have some corn and I have some lobster tail. So the only thing I've done so far is put the potatoes in the pot with sea salt and that's it. So right now... I'll tell you what I have for the butter sauce. I have ginger, I have habaneros, I have thyme, garlic, onions, and I use sweet onions for my sauce. I also have some scallions. And of course you can't forget the lemon. Now, as a part of the seafood boil, for my sausage I'm using some kielbasa, and this is beef, and it's also organic. I don't usually care if it's organic, but that's what Costco had, so that's what we're buying. We also have some coconut milk because my sauce is a coconut butter sauce. Now, I already washed my shrimp a few times. It's been deveined, but I am leaving the shell on because it holds the flavor of the broth and the sauce when you do it this way. So the reason why I leave my lime juice in it with the water and the lime itself is that's a part of my cleaning process. Now, a lot of people don't do it that way, but I do think that when you take special care in your cleaning process of your meats, the end result is really good. You get a nice, clean tasting meat, which is always what I want. So I'm going to show you my uh, seasoning process as well, my powdered seasoning process in a bit. All right, y'all, so right now we're going to put the uh, crab legs in the pot with just salt water, some lemons. So I cut up some lemons and I drop it in the pot. Then I'm going to put my crab legs in the pot as well. Now try not to overcook your crab legs. If you ever cook crab legs and you notice that the meat is really small inside of the shell, that's because probably you've overcooked it. So this is a whole lot of crab legs, guys. Some viewers who watch me that's affiliated with my husband requested seafood y'all they want to know if it tastes as good as it looks and I promise you it does these are the the lobster tails that I have now I usually prefer this lock this type of lobster tail so for this one you, you usually find it in um in the Caribbean or in Asian countries I think it tastes better than cold water lobster but that's just my preference so tonight I'm making a sauce that you guys have never seen me make before and that is my coconut butter sauce and pretty much how I came up with the sauce is just by using flavors that I remember growing up in Jamaica so this sauce is just made by memory it's just like hmm this tastes good hmm this tastes good so I'm just gonna use it so usually people uh, bake their lobster tail or boil it but I don't want to do that because I don't want to overcook it. And I don't want it to get small and I also want it to remain pretty. So I'm going to show you what I do. I'm going to squeeze some lemon, some lime juice in it. Because that is a part of my cleaning process. You don't have to do it that way. But as I said before, when you take care in the way you clean your meats, the result tastes better. So then the, last, the lobster will taste nice and clean and it won't be, you know, super fishy and have like raw taste that's, you know. And guys, when I make my um, coconut butter sauce, my seasoning style is very herbaceous. I do use powder seasonings, but most of the seasonings that come through is herbs like thyme, ginger, habanero, scallion, onions. So pretty much to get that pretty look for the lobster and this is nice and fleshy and the reason why I don't submerge it all in water 
is because I don't want to lose all that mass. So that's pretty much it. You slice the tail and then you pull the meat out. And then you have a nice looking lobster tail. Now for me, I like my lobster tail to be gently cooked. So when I put it in the, when I put the heat on it, I don't like for the pan, the pan to be super hot. Cause I think that it shocks the meat and then the lobster tail kind of just curl up and get tough. So I'm going to show you guys another time how I do this. So this is a lobster tail. And like I said, you get these lobster tails in the tropics. I think they taste better, but that's just me. If I can get these live, the big ones, I would definitely get it for my channel. So I'm still looking for it, guys. Now, when you cut them, you'll notice that sometimes the shells are cracking. And you don't want to have um, pieces of shells in your food. So I would suggest that you wash this again before you cook it. And that's how it looks. And like I said, you just cut the tail, you tuck it under, and then you put the meat on the top. And that's how you get that nice look that you see in the restaurants and you see on all these channels. Now in the, in the sauce that I cooked this lobster in, I think it's just going to be a real simple sauce because I don't want the seasonings that I put on the lobster tail to overpower the coconut butter sauce. I already cleaned all my vegetables and I'm just going to start slicing it down so you can see the butter sauce because I think that's the most um, important for the boil. Now something interesting about my butter sauce is that it actually needs seafood in it to flavor the sauce so it's not just about the um the onions and the garlic and the ginger and everything it's also about the flavor of the crab so i do have some broken pieces of crab that i'm gonna add to my sauce to flavor it i also use chicken broth in it as well and if you are a vegetarian you can make this sauce just don't add, you know, the shrimp and the, I mean, don't add, don't add the crab. Just use the coconut milk and um, your vegetables and it will taste just as good. Now, because I'm making um, seafood for about five, six people, I need a lot of this stuff. I want my sauce to be nice and rich. Yeah, like I said, make sure that you go subscribe to my um, YouTube channel. So that when I do start sending seafood out or just foods that I make on my channel, I'm going to be overnight it to, overnighting it to subscribers. And so that this way, if you ever wanted to try it, all you have to do in the comment and say, you know, I'd like to try that. Any uh, video that you watch and you like what I'm eating, you want to see how it tastes, you can just say, hey, I'd like to try that. And then, you know. Obviously, I'm not going to send it to everyone, but you could be one of the people who get to taste it. So I'm going to, for my sausages, like I said, this is beef. And the reason why I chose beef is a lot of people don't eat pork. And so I don't want to, you know, I don't want to spoil the integrity of my food by adding pork products because... You know you gotta respect people's prices okay so this is how I cut my sausages and for these sausages I'm gonna fry them nicely to where they're like caramelized on the edges and tasting real good I think I have like six lobster tails I don't know how many shrimp a lot I can't tell you how many clusters of crab legs I have because I lost count but I'm sure I probably have over 15 clusters of crab legs. So, I'm not being stingy with the portions. <laughs> um, you know, some people that my husband knows requested this. So, I'm trying to make sure it's right. 
I'm putting some garlic powder in, in the pot already. I'm also putting some onion powder, some lorries. And that's all I'm gonna put in there right now. Oh no, that is not all. I'm gonna cut up a head of garlic. I'm gonna put some allspice in. And what I do is, I put some uh, olive oil in my pot. Now, crabs don't have a lot of fat. So if you ever wonder why people use so much butter in it, <laughs> this is why. All I have going on right now, I'm gonna stir this up so that the seasons get in the liquid and then we'll be right back. All right y'all, so let's get into the butter sauce. Right now, all I'm doing is adding butter. And y'all know that's the first step. Now because I'm making so many servings, I'm gonna add eight sticks of butter. Now y'all, don't come for me. I know it's a lot. But I also have a lot of seafood that I need to coat with this stuff. And I use salted butter. You don't have to. I'm just going to put all my herbs in at the same time. To me, it makes no difference. All you need to know is that it's all going to be cooking for a while. So all my garlic is in. My thyme is in, which you can see that there's a lot of thyme in there. My ginger, this is how I cut it. Just chunks. It's going in. Now, I'm going to put some habaneros in there, but I won't cut them, okay? We're just going to stir. And let that stuff just, you know, get to get merry and know each other a little bit. Okay, y'all, so in case you're wondering why do I have pieces of crab legs in my sauce, the reason why is, remember I told you guys that I actually need um, seafood to flavor my sauce. So I just have a few pieces in there. I might even put some shrimp in it as well. It's good. I don't think I have to wait until the onions cook before I put my coconut milk in. So that's what I'm gonna do. Coconut milk going in. That looks good, huh? It tastes good too. And you notice that I'm catering to my herbs and my fresh seasonings before powdered ones. Because that's what really makes up my sauce. And then I'll show you the special way that I make my corn. So my potatoes are done, y'all. I'm gonna pour them out. And then we're gonna get into the corn. How was it recording? Okay, so I put some all spice berries in my sauce I'm probably gonna put a little bit more and for the people on Instagram bear with me I am recording a video while I'm trying to show you guys this on live so I can't talk to you guys as much but thank you guys for joining me so right now in my pot I have eight sticks of butter coconut milk milk chicken stock allspice berries habanero peppers I usually have more habaneros in my pot but because it's not for me I don't want to um, make it too spicy so I have scallions in here thyme in here ginger garlic onions and of course I said I have crab legs because this broth actually requires a seafood um, reduction in it so um, I have some garlic some garlic powder that I'm putting in you can use any brand garlic powder you want so on top of the garlic powder and on top of the fact that I have ginger um, pimento which is the allspice and I have garlic in here already I'm also going to be using uh, Caribbean traditions ginger uh, garlic pimento like I said pimento is allspice and I know this is a lot of sauce but like I said I'm doing um, a lot of seafood and I'm also going to show you guys a special way that I make my corn I'm all, right now I'm putting some uh, jerk season in here now I'm not putting enough to make it taste like jerk but if you consider all the things that jerk seasoning has it has everything that's already in the pot so pretty much all I'm doing is enhancing the flavors that's already in here I do have some uh, garlic scallion allspice <laughs> so that's just more allspice flavor <laughs> maybe I'm I like to overdo it I'm a little bit extra y'all 
I'm frying my sausages, my beef kielbasas, my um, corn is cooking it. I'm cooking a little chicken sauce and seasoning. I already reduced my sauce and it's in the pot with the snow crab legs. Yeah, so right now we're just frying the sausages and then we'll be right back. I know um, when you buy sausages from the, the restaurant, they tend to boil it, but I want some nice caramelized flavor on my sausages, so I am going to fry them. I don't want soggy, wet sausages. I want some nice textured sausages. There you go. All right, so this is fine. Everything is looking good. I'll update you guys in a bit. So I just finished making my sausages and in the same pot, I'm gonna put some butter in. I'm gonna put half a stick of butter in there for the shrimp, as well as some, uh... so half a stick of butter, as well as some, a little bit of um, olive oil. Just a little bit. Time. And I'm going to put a little bit of ginger, oh, guys, a little bit of ginger, Maggie cube. And y'all, I'm only using half the cube. Now everything is going to start going really quickly. To this, I'm just going to start adding in my, my shrimp. And I'm just taking it out the lime water and adding them directly to the pot. Now you're gonna see that my shrimp is very simple. Apart from what's already in it, the only thing I'm gonna be putting is some Badia Complete Seasoning. And I got this idea from Adrian Cooking and Food Reviews. If you don't, if you're not subscribed to him, check him out. Check him out. He makes amazing dishes. Some ginger garlic pimento, a little bit of Lari's, garlic powder, <laughs> rain is always in there, onion powder, and y'all, that's it, that's all. <laughs> now, I don't overcook my shrimp ever. My stove is on high. Fresh garlic to this, and this bad boy is done. All right, y'all, so this is the crabs. And right now it's submerged in that butter sauce that I made earlier. So right now I'm just going to show you how I'm going to make my lobster. I'm going to put some butter in. And it's real similar to how I do my shrimp. If you've never seen how I make my shrimp, I have a video on that already. I'm going to leave the link in the description so you know what video that is. So right now I have some butter and olive oil in the pan. I'm going to add a little bit of ginger right here. So this meal has a lot of Jamaican influence in it. And so you need your thyme, you need your allspice, you need your ginger. So lobster tail in. And I didn't season prior to. Because remember, I'm gonna submerge it into sauce that we made earlier. It's going in. Now we're going to do exactly what we did with the shrimp, except for this one. I'm going to put some butter on top. Then we have the butter. So you're going to be amazed at how simple these lobster tails are. So half a Maggie in. You just want to crush it. Push it around. You know what, it's okay if it get all turned in there. It is what it is. Then we're gonna add some lorries. Ginger garlic allspice, Badia complete seasoning. Like I said, I got the Badia complete seasoning from Adrian, cooking and food reviews. 
He cooks all the time and he swears by that seasoning. So we'll check it out, y'all. Last but not least, this is the only difference. I'm gonna add some paprika. Just to give it a little bit of color. I'm also gonna add a little bit of red pepper flakes. A little bit of black pepper. And then we're done. Actually, my ginger had allspice in it. So that's it, y'all. Now we let this go. We're gonna cover the pot, let it steam. And this butter, olive oil, and delicious seasonings, and that's it. <laughs> Very simple lobster tail. So I'm probably gonna wrap it up right now. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Yeah,